with Wayne Brady. Well, let's make a deal. He's made you pick a door, and you've got to decide if you want to keep that door or you want to switch. What are you going to do? Stay. Stay and win. Stay and win. Do the, do the data support that? Measure it. Oh, Rob's saying no, and Jeremiah's saying no. Yeah. Tell me why the data support it first, Trey. Well, hang on. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60, 65, 70. So this is 70. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60, 65, 69. That seems almost like a coin flip wow. as far as staying goes. But let's, let's count the rest of them too, yeah? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 32 to 12. Now here's where it gets tricky. Oh, Kathy, what are you going to say? No, are you sure? You sure? Okay. Here's where it gets tricky. That's 15. That's 15. That's 15. <laughs> what? 5 plus 5 is 5 plus 1? 15. Here's where it gets tricky. I can't really compare this way fairly because more of you went this way. Does that make sense? Like, I want to compare the wins to the losses and see if there's any kind of a pattern there. The trick with that is, because you all went to this side, I can't do that. But I can compare this side, and I can compare this side. And I can actually get a couple likelihoods. What percent of you want, ish this, ish, ish. What percent of you won when you stayed? 50%. Roughly 50%. Roughly 50%. And roughly 50% of you lost when you stayed. So essentially, if you're going to stay, according to our data, you can decide the results of your fate without even having Monty, doors, a goat, uh, belly button, lint, whatever. Take a coin out of your pocket and flip it. Heads you win, tails you lose. According to our data. That's assuming our data is good. I have no idea. It's a small data set, but a, good, but a fun data set. How about when you switch? What's the chance that you win if you switch based on our data? 67%. Two-thirds? Yeah, about two-thirds, isn't it? This is just about half of this, which means two-thirds of the results of switching were winning, and only one-third was losing. Now, that's extraordinarily interesting, isn't it? That's extraordinarily interesting. It looks like, it looks like when we switched, we won two-thirds <laughs> of the time. But well, this is why I was, I was dangerously saying something when Cassie kept switching and winning, and I, I just, I, the blue sweater, in fact, you're sitting right in front of me, I noticed that. So, interestingly enough, two-thirds of the time when you switch, you win, but it looks like a coin flip over here. Any explanation for that? And a lot of this is hard because I was polluting your results. I was polluting your results by saying things while we were going. Uh, on the coin flip, though, aren't you flipping to whether you stay or switch? No, no, no. no. The, the, the coin flip should actually... I've got that randomized as a coin flip. I'm going to show you something here in a minute. But the, the coin flip is deciding, once you've decided to stay, what's going to happen to you. That's what our data looks like. I find it interesting that it looks like that. Because coin flips, I mean, coin flips are wonderful for lots of things. It's deciding if you have a majority of voter approval or things like that. But with this one, it's just interesting that it came that close to a perfect coin flip. I, oh, Rob, what are you going to say? Are you sure? You're positive. Go ahead. I was going to say, like, my approach to it is to go with your gut feeling. Mm. I can't measure it. that. I know. Yeah. I know. But and one thing I kept track of was what door one and what door you put it behind. What? To see if you had a tendency to... Oh, that's why I was using this, sister. Pattern. No, I know for the... where. I know for what... Ah! Ha! Ha! Okay. So, this is a really good point. <laughs> there is a part of this that is truly unrandom. So, suppose, for example, you pick whoever's playing, Justine, you're playing. The lollipop is behind door number one, and you pick door number one. I have to then randomly decide which door to open. Because there are now two that have nothing behind them, right? However, if Justine picks door number one, the lollipop is behind door number two. I have to open door number three. And so that's another piece of randomness that I was not being random about. I was looking down and just trying not I was so focused on where my eyes are going that I'm like, look down and open one. Good. Well, and I've got I, that control for this. When I started too. keeping track of it, you did like 
one, like three ones, mm -hmm. three threes, and three twos. Because I suck at being red because I'm a human being. Thank you for that. And I've got that controlled over here. And then I started only picking a certain goal. Oh, see, now I'm biasing your, I'm biasing your results. Good, so good. Two hey, what, hold that thought. Hold that thought. Okay. Hold that thought. Aaron, go. Please. I, I was just wondering if there's, if you're changing the odds by switching. This is a very, very good question. you got to remember, and this, I, I should have said this earlier and I forgot to. I don't move the lollipop. Once you've picked a door, and I, I know you saw me not doing that. I mean, you, I put the light pop down, and I run out of the room, or put the glasses on, or hide my face. And then you pick a door. Some people at last year were confused because they thought I then moved the lollipop once you picked the door. It's right where it was in the beginning. So what's the chance you got it right in the beginning? One in three. It's a chance you guessed the door correctly in the beginning is one in three. Keep that number in the back of your mind. Do we see one in three show up? We did. One in three was right over here. It's a chance of switching and losing. Okay? Keep that, keep that in mind. Other ideas right now. I love these ideas, by the way. These are fantastic. Eric, you, that wasn't what you were looking for as far as an answer. No, I, you asked if I changed the odds. I'm just trying to figure out why you win more when you switch. <sighs> may I, if I may. Yeah. Rob, you have another idea back there? Well, I was just saying, if you, if you win or switch, it should be 50-50 mathematically. Let's, let's, I've got a more randomized version of it here. I, I, I knew this was going to, because of all the little psycho things, because of the little tiny things in my eyes going around, because of the fact that I'm me, and because of the fact that I say things like, everybody say it, Cassie? You know, <laughs> things like that. They're going to skew what you then do, because we're not machines. So I put it into the hands of the machine. That's what I've got here next for you guys to kind of enjoy. So, we won't get to the dice.